Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. This night sight stuff is awesome. <laughs> Welcome to this week's The Choice. This week we are heading down to Florida, but this is a whole new adventure for us. Yeah, this is something new that we decided to do. You know, there are so many wild feral hogs down oh in Florida. Gosh. And Hop said, you know what? We should try doing some nighttime hunting. So we got some night sight equipment. Yeah. Which is... Attach it to our brownings and... Oh my gosh. You want to talk about fun and where it's legal which is hogs pretty much everywhere. Yeah, especially in but Florida. But I'm gonna tell you something. If you've never done nighttime hunting, oh, you gotta do it. It's a blast. I'm glad you said where it's legal. Yeah, <laughs> well, because you don't want to be, yep. <laughs> yeah. oh, that'd be a so, bad deal. So let's get going, shall we? Yeah. All right. Night sight at night. Otherwise it'd be called day sight. Ooh, doo, 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 <laughs> The Kempfer Cattle Company and Osceola Outfitters boast some of the best hunting Florida has to offer. And now with the addition of the night sight to Ralph and Vicky's arsenal, the sunset takes on a new meaning, more fun. What we're doing is we are actually going hog hunting at night down here in Florida at Hoppies. And the big thing is, is we are using the night sight setup. And these things are incredible. First off, they're very, so much affordable, huh? Yeah. They're really affordable. And it allows you not only to see what you're shooting, I mean, <laughs> pretty cool, but we could also film what we're shooting, which is huge. <laughs> we're here again. <laughs> you see what I deal with all the time? I mean, this is this is what happens when you wake up early, you're turkey hunting all day long, and, 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 and then you have this notion that, hey, let's try something different. And tonight we're doing it. We, we don't sleep. No, not hardly ever. <laughs> not down here in Florida, especially with Hop and everybody. Oh. Hoppy and Jimmy, we always come up with these schemes and these plans, and one of the plans is down here in Florida, you can hunt hogs at night. So we talked to Night Sight, and we said, guys, can we, can we play with some of the equipment? And let me tell you something. I'm shooting the Night Sight Eagle Scope Mount. And this is the Spotter, Spotter Extreme. Extreme. You, folk, you gotta see this. Look at, Wait, look at this. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. We'll intensify that. You just could a little see bit. it is pitch black. And we're going down here and we're going to find us some hogs out in the dark. So we spot them with this. We'll spot the hogs with this one. And we kill them with this one. This one has the same screen, but the crosshairs are projected onto the screen. Yep. We just tested the gun. Yeah, we're shooting, a, we're shooting our Browning um, 243. 243. And it's right on. Right on. So now we know that if the hog doesn't go down, it's you're not on. It's because of the spotter. And I'm not talking this, I'm talking him. Let's go, Let's go. come on. Fun. I'm sleep deprived. Yes, you are. <laughs> and you mentally unstable. Turkey hunt from 4 a.m. to... Mentally unstable. Well, it's, it's like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> and we're going hog hunting. It's 10 o'clock. Let's go, we gotta go. Just spotted a, uh, a hog clear across this pasture. I'm looking at the cypress head over there, guessing it's about four or five hundred yards from here. Right. It was a black spot. I, I saw it see moving. It. I think I could see it moving. I mean, it was tiny. <laughs> it's a long way. But the wind's blowing like this, so I think we can just cut straight to it. Let's go. Come on. Here's I can't believe how far we spotted some of those. I, we saw my boar at like 
truthfully, 450 to 500 yards away. Yeah. I mean, and you could just see the little, you saw them moving, and, and I mean, with the spotter and the, you can truly make them out. Like you knew, we knew, said, oh, that's a big old boar. Hoppy knew right off the bat, man. And so you, you know, you get, make sure the wind's in your favor and you just keep moving towards it. They're coming to us. Guys, what we just spotted a, uh, a hog clear across this pasture. I'm looking at the cypress head over there, guessing it's about four or five hundred yards from here. It was a black spot. I, I saw it moving. It. I think I could see it moving. I mean, it was tiny. <laughs> it's a long way. But the wind's blowing like this. So I think we can just cut straight to it. Let's go. Come on. ready. Bada bing. <laughs> this night sight stuff is awesome. <laughs> well, we're down here with Hoppy Kempfer, Osseol Outfitters, and we, we're doing something a little different, huh, Hop? Oh, yeah. This is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> we're using the night sight equipment, and I'm telling you, you put it on your existing gun, we put it on, and I mean, we shot one shot, it was perfect, dead on. And we headed out here, and they got a lot of hogs that are that are rooting up some bad fields, huh? No, I'm, I'm, good fields. Good fields that are turning them bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and lo and behold, Hoppy said, you know, let's go. We had to get the wind in our favor, and he actually spotted this this boar. What would you say? 400 yards, anyway. At least. Yeah, with this. What was this? With called? the, the spotter support? extreme. Spotter, spotter extreme. extreme is bad. Yeah. Medicine. <laughs> But I'll tell you, you know, we've hunted hogs in every imaginable way you can except one till it was dark. And now we've done it. And I'm going to tell you, this is an addiction, huh? Oh, yeah, this is what you get, too. Yeah, well, two hundred pounders. And look at his teeth. Oh, yeah, it's a dandy. <laughs> Thanks, Hop. Yeah, man. That was awesome, man. <laughs> Night Ooh. sight, baby. Man, look how big he is. Look at his girth. Tonight we're going out with the night sight equipment and I, I can tell you, I don't think I ever imagined myself doing this. But when you start playing with this night sight stuff and you go, you know, you're, you're taking out some hogs, this is absolutely, it, it'll change your thought process. I mean, we love it. It's a blast, it's fun. It's fun. And, and I mean, it's a, it's a family affair. And we're filling the freezer with you're some good pork. What do you mean you're having an affair? No, no, family. Oh, God. Affair, family affair, family affair. Famine. Isn't that a TV show? Wasn't a Family Affair a TV show? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Vic, but that was way before my time. No, even after you your time, I think. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah, because they had TVs for it to be aired, so it had to be after you were a child. <laughs> Is this bright? Bow to your oh. master. <laughs> Well, it doesn't take long for Hoppy and the crew to find some hogs feeding in the Palmetto Flat. And Vicki isn't wasting time getting on the hogs, as she's anxious to try her hand at night vision hunting. How far is he? I don't know how far he was. That's the hardest thing is judging distance. There's something that, that adds to that whole adventure when you're hunting at night, huh? Yes. I mean, it was just hard to judge distance. Because when we were looking through the spotter and the scope with the night sight, you see them. And they look like they're right there, but they're not. No, and then when you start getting closer, you don't know how close, and then you realize, holy crap, they're, you know, they're really only, close. They're 30 yards. Yeah. 
that, that was the part where you would think they were still further away. Yep. It's not that they were further away and you thought they were closer. They're closer and it got a little, don't look at me like that. So at one time they looked farther away and then they're closer? Keep up with the conversation, it will all be fine. Now, once you shoot, <clears throat> yes. if you lose sight of them, you don't know where they're at. No, and that's the point is when you have that spotter. The spotter has to be the guy that's holding and stay that, on has it. to stay on that hog. You cannot lose it because then you're out there. I mean, as soon as we shoot it, headlamps are on. I mean, everybody's trying yeah. to see everything that's going on. Now that Vicky has laid the lead to this pig, the crew is all in to help her track the hog. Look at that. Dang. So I guess I hit him where I was supposed to, huh? Yep, right there. <laughs> now that was cool. I think you got him right there. Perfect. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Hop. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done this before. This has been kind of fun. Going out and using the night sight and between the... I'm telling you, though, this... This thing works great, but having the handheld, it, it, you along know, you with have it, to have the spotter because otherwise we you don't know, know right because we wouldn't know which way he went or anything like that. And but the spotter is the key because I was able to stay on him the whole time and, and knew right where he went in the bushes. Otherwise, it. you'd never know. We'd never know. No, well, will, I mean you find blood, but well, but but, but you had a good a way to start off because once I shot, I couldn't see anything until that the smoke went away, and then I'm like, right. okay, where would he go? So. That's very cool. Sweet. It's a good. Is that a pounder? You know, again, the three musketeers were, were added again. Three amigos. The three amigos were added again. I, I mean, you had Case, you had Fish, and you had RJ. Mm -hmm. And and those boys, they're covered up with honey. Number oh, one. Yeah. But number two, for them to experience that night stuff, that was pretty cool. We got a spotted another big black dark dark boar and what we're gonna do is we're trying to get it's so hard uh oh what i just went dead did you really yeah. well when you're using battery operated equipment that's not what you want to hear with turkey hunting during the day and hog hunting at night you're bound to forget something and it looks like somebody forgot to charge the batteries they say time flies when you're having fun so even though the crew has been at it for hours they feel like they're just getting started. They've got just a little power left and are going to get as much out of this hunt as possible. All right, you ready? I got a spot yeah. Yeah, There's two of them. There's two of them. All right, we're make sure there's not another one. All right, there's the big one. Wait, put it back on that one. down to Florida and we hunt hogs with Hoppy. You know, and I mean, we spot and stalk them in the daytime. We can sit in tree stands or ground blinds by feeders. I mean, there's so many different oh, options yeah. to hunting hogs down there. The cool thing about hunting it with the night sight at night is those big nocturnal hogs. Those big, old big boar hogs or bar hogs that don't ever come in until it's pitch black. You get them on your, on your spy points. You get them on your cameras, but you never actually get to see them. So now we kind of even the playing field. Yep. You know, and what's really cool, and people need to understand, you know, you check wherever you're hunting, the legalities, but even predator hunting, 
Right. You know, there are seasons here, even here in Illinois, yep. that you can hunt at night. So I, don't think you're just, you, like the night sight equipment, this equipment's only for that oh, one yeah. opportunity. No. I mean, you can really take advantage of some of this stuff. And when you can control predators, I don't care where you are, boy, that is the ticket. Got him. Ratch another one in it. Went to the left. <laughs> Man, look what a stud. What a hog, buddy. See? <laughs> ah, nice, RJ. Wow, Thank you. Man, what a whopper, too. Look at the size of that. Congratulations, buddy. Good shot. Yeah, you. you. Oh, buddy. Was he that close to us? There was, was no close. flinching. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look what a boar. Holy, Holy smokes. Crap. Oh, look at his teeth. Just... Look at his teeth. <laughs> oh my! Oh. <laughs> RJ! Look at that. Son Holy of a God. gun! Man, this is this is this is the way to kill the big boys right here. It is, Hop. It is. Look at the chompers on that. Here, let's open this guy. Look at all the grass he's eating. Woo! Yeah. My goodness! Look at those chompers, RJ. <laughs> hey. hey. Dude, nice job, RJ. Two hundred pounder. Oh yeah, that's like your cool. dad got the other night, just like this. This, this is when them big ones come yeah. out at night. These are the ones you don't see, do you? Nah, I mean, <laughs> very, very, very Unless rarely. Unless that sow comes in heat. Or we have the dogs out on them yeah. to find them, but man, these. Wow. Hit it perfect. Right into him. He was quartering away. It went right in him. Two forty-three. Two. Oh wait, get my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Hoppy. <laughs> I knew you could do it. You'd worry about <coughs> flinching and all that business. Boy, you've been out there shooting a 22 and 45s and whatever, nine whatever, millimeters nine millimeters. And cows. Yeah. Are you kidding me? His Look at his ears. Fighting. Strip and getting bit by other boars. Look at the shields on this guy. That's nice. Awesome, that is a stud of a boar right there. That's a big one. It's big. It's big. It's just big. It's just big. <laughs> we said it at the beginning of the show, and we're going to say it again. You have to try this. Huh? Yeah, it was a lot of this fun. This is it really so was. cool. It was just so fun. I mean, you're walking in the pitch black. If you're not looking through your night sight stuff. It's, it's dark. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And you don't know where you're going. I mean, we spotted these hogs from a long, long ways off. Mm -hmm. And then you get the wind in your favor, and you just keep walking. And there's times you can't judge the distance. Yeah, it's, it's hard to judge distance because you're not, I mean, there's nothing. There's no plants. There's no nothing. And you don't have a range finder. No. So you're hoping for the best. No. And all you do is just have your wife go first. Really? Really? Actually, the most intense part of it is when you're just walking with the crew, whether you're the camera person or whatever, and they go ahead and they shoot the big boar. And it runs, and you don't, you don't know where it ran here. to. <laughs> it is black, and you have no idea. But I mean, the night sight stuff was amazing, and we had so much fun. In fact, Hoppy made us leave it down there. Yeah, we're gonna get it back from him. Hop, thanks so much for letting us come down there and have fun with that. And um, yeah, what do you think? Can hey, we go back and do it again. Yes, absolutely. We're going okay, this year. Cool. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. <laughs> we'll see you next week. I almost did it again. I know. It's only taken years and years and years. Every week, I forget the end of the show.